Hey everybody, I am back for our Tutorial Tuesdays. Um, if you have not seen my video before, I am Jennifer and I am the official makeup spokesperson for this amazing magazine. So, um, today I am going to go ahead and go live and show you how to do a different holiday look uh, than I did last week. I did a look with browns and a like brassy color. Uh, this week I'm going to show you how to kind of mix it up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with, I've already primed my eyes, I've done my eyebrows, so we're just going to get straight to it. Right, I have here some really gorgeous colors. I'm going to be using three different colors on my eyes. So we're going to get going now. Um, I'm going to start out with this Stute. This is a light tan color, and I'm just going to go ahead and place it on my eyes to give kind of a good background color. Okay, so I am using a blending brush. <laughs> so here we go. So this is, a, this is going to be a really soft color for your lids. Um, it's just going to give a really pretty base for all these colors that we're doing right now. I'm glowing. Let's fix that. There we go. <laughs> I felt like I was glowing. All right. So I am just adding it on. You, as you can see, it's a very light tannish color. It's going to be the base. Okay. Sometimes my eyes don't want to cooperate with me, but that's okay. So what I'm doing is I am just taking this brush, I put the color on it, and I'm just doing like windshield motion over my eye right here. Uh, I do have hooded eyes, so I go a little bit above my lid right here and so uh, that you can see the color when I do open my eyes. Now if you guys start hearing clicking in the background I'm very sorry that is my heater and it can get annoying but <laughs> I'm here to talk to you guys through it. <laughs> Alright okay so here we go. All right, so now that I have finished the lighter color, I'm going to go in with this kind of orangish color. It is called Gingerly. Very beautiful. And I'm just going to go in and right here, right below, add that color in. Kind of doing some circular motions and swiping. Again, I'm sorry if you guys hear my heater. Uh, my makeup area is in my basement, and so I'm hoping to have my basement finished very soon so that we don't have to hear that while I'm live. So as you can see, it's a little bit darker. Okay. Now that I have that on my lids, I'm going to go ahead and add the darker color right there on my lids right here. So um, I'm going to be using a, a color called Fervent, which is this one right here. We're getting a little bit spicy up in here with Christmas or holiday color um, eyeshadow. So this one is called Fervent and it's really gorgeous. I'm just going to take kind of a stiffer, fluffier brush and apply it to my lid that way. Okay, so you only need a little bit. And of course you guys can use anything you can find at the store. Um, it doesn't have to be specifically these colors and you can obviously do any color combo that you want. Okay, so now that I've just added on my lid, I will go back through and blend in just a moment. I'm 
I'm just getting that color right there on my lid. Okay. All right, so now that it's on there, I'm gonna go back with my blending brush. And I'm not gonna add any color, but I am just gonna blend. Uh, you want to blend so that it, the uh, colors kind of come together as one. Okay. I feel like my left eye needs a little bit more. And that's the beauty of makeup is that you can always add more. Or if you are not satisfied with the way that you have done it, you can always take it off and start all over. Um, that's what I love about makeup. Okay. I'm just sitting here blending and getting it all on there nicely. All right. So now that I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with the way that this looks, I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline under here with a black liner or whatever color that you choose, but I, ch I prefer black. And this, this right here is called a waterline. That, that little area right here is the waterline. Right, I put black there. Uh, black makes your eyes look smaller. If you like to make your eyes look bigger, then you can use a lighter color like white or silver. Anything really light will help make your eyes look bigger. Black or darker colors make your eyes look smaller. And I try really hard not to pull down, pull too hard down on my eye right here because you can stretch the skin, but. And of course I line right here just to give it that pop. All right, so that they are done. And now I'm gonna take this brush right here that I had the red on and I'm gonna go and line or add that red underneath. I always feel like it's really, it makes, it completes the eye when you bring the color together down underneath. Okay, so I'm just really blending it under there. And of course, you know, um, if this kind of scares you, it always takes practice. You know, practice always makes perfect. So, if this intimidates you, that's okay. Practice will always help. All right, so now that I have it lined under there, and of course, see, so this is the perfect example. If you overdo it, you can always just go back through with your blending brush and whatever color, and then just kind of get it perfect however you want it, okay? So we have that. Now I'm going to add mascara in, which I did not pull out of my drawer yet, but I always feel like mascara completes a look. It's always really amazing what mascara can do for the eyes. I 
have my mirror over here. That's why I keep looking over. And now I'm going to do the bottom lashes. Add some more product on there. eye is complete and of course you can always add more mascara if that's something that you're into I feel very accomplished today I did not get mascara all over my face usually when I do a live I'm I'm known for getting mascara all over my face but I did not this time which is really great <laughs> Anyways, um, if you prefer to do your eyes and then have no lipstick on, that's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put on a nude shade. This is a liquid lipstick. And so, make sure my lips are soft. And I'm just going to add a little. And this is just more of a subtle lip versus a really outgoing uh popping lip. So if you if you prefer to have a more subtle lip, that's okay too. And finally my heater shut off. <laughs> So you see it just added a little bit of a pop of color to this look and that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions you can feel free to ask below or shoot a message to the page and we will get back to you as soon as we can. I hope you guys have a fabulous night and that you learned a lot from this tutorial. Talk to you guys later. Bye!